Hello and welcome to today's very special edition of Frightfully Forgotten, because we are celebrating our 100th episode. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and, and that's not including outtakes and tales from the VHS vault. We're going to redo Demonic Toys from 1992, which was episode number one, will also be episode 100. Well, it was the first one, It was right? green. It's very green. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have any real prep. We didn't really know what we're doing. We just sat down and hit record and started talking. Now we have a structure we kind of follow every episode. So we're going to redo Demonic Toys. Demonic Toys is directed by Peter Manugin, and he has done, like, basically just tacky movies just like this. It is written by David S. Goyer and he's gone from doing tacky movies like this to big blockbuster movies. Tracy Scoggins stars in this. She's the main female lead. She's been in tons of TV, but one thing that we wanted to mention is uh, she was a uh, Cardassian character in DS9. If it's Star Trek related, we'll mention it. <laughs> Damn straight. Michael Russo is in this and uh, he was in Toxic Avenger. He's also a stuntman in a lot, almost every famous big, big blockbuster movies. You gotta mention Peter Schrum is in this. Can't let you take the man's wheel, son. Those sausage fingers yeah. it is. <laughs> Looks like he put his fucking fingers through like a bandsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zimmerman! <laughs> Those rubber fingers all come flying off. Demonic Toy starts off with Judith and Matt. Undercover, trying to bust some illegal gun sellers. Find out that they're actually dating. Judith tells Matt that she's actually pregnant. That's great! <laughs> the guys pull up and they start doing the gun deal. No serial numbers. Yeah. Bang, bang, you know. <laughs> yeah. You're under arrest. Gunfire starts and Matt gets hit. Oh! <laughs> Hesse also gets hit. He crawls into this toy warehouse. Lincoln, you gotta help, help me. me! Sorry, guy. Lincoln, get the fuck away from me! <laughs> <laughs> he happens to crawl upon this pentagram, which is on the ground, and starts bleeding on it. Toys start coming to life. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. He's all, oh, oh. Ah, 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 bites off his fingers and boom, spits him out. Charnetsky, he's the security guard. He's sitting there watching Puppet Master and listening to polka music. <laughs> but you know, he's hungry, so he calls up his favorite chicken place, Chunky Chicken. Get off the phone, Hammerhead. Give it to Mark. <laughs> Take the legs and breast. None of that wingy shit. <laughs> Give me plenty of honey for my fucking roll. You assholes always skimp on that. You make sure you come right on back here, mister. Well, maybe I won't come back. Maybe I'll just plow your fucking chicken mobile into the river. How'd you like that? <laughs> Have you seen Miss July? <laughs> yeah. Bah! God damn, I hate him! Sons of bitches. <laughs> Mark and Charnetsky are sitting there and they start hearing some gunfire. Should we go check it out? And tell you one thing. It was a bum. I'm gonna kick his goddamn ass. <laughs> Nothing in here to steal except for some goddamn old toys. And find that Judith has actually Her captured Lincoln. Lincoln and handcuffed him. Do you know how to handle that thing? <laughs> Lady, I was in Korea. I can handle myself. Christ, Christ what a night. <laughs> so Charnetsky goes to go and call the authorities to let them know they have this felon. Yeah. He's all waiting with some baseball bat. <laughs> 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 The toys surround him and baby oopsie daisy stabs him in the nuts. Oh uh, yeah. Chewing away at his face. Mark is all freaking out. Oh fuck! What the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this girl Anne pops out of the ductwork. It's the toys. Yeah, it's the toys. Something's got into the toys. <laughs> She ran away from home and she got into the warehouse, into the ductwork yeah. somehow. Through the ductwork, they can get back to Chernetsky's office where there's a phone, ammo, possibly a way out. Judith is left behind. She gets transported into dollhouse. this dollhouse kind of thing. We learned that uh, 66 years ago, this woman gives birth to 
this devil baby, but the child dies. This is some kind of weird devil cult or something, some <laughs> evil cult. It's also Halloween time, and yeah. so some kids knock on the door, and they hand the kids this baby wrapped up in the blankets and everything. And they open the thing up, oh, and they all throw it. <laughs> He lands in some kind of shallow grave. And so this is what's haunting this site. This devil spirit wants to do is take over or possess Judith's unborn baby and then be born into the real world. While she's in this dollhouse, Lincoln is getting free. Baby Oopsie Daisy kind of jump down and mm. jump onto Anne and start stabbing her in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs the gun and just blows it away. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets out of the storeroom. And who does he run into? Lincoln. Yeah. He's like, wait, man, we, we gotta stick together. He's like, I'm just doing what the voices inside my head tell me to do. They tell me to blow your fucking brains out. I'll blow, blow your fucking brains out. out. Boom, <laughs> right in the forehead. <laughs> just as things are getting interesting. It's a little chatterbox. What with all the golden locks? Would you just shut, shut the, the fuck up? up? <laughs> <laughs> Shoots him right in the shoulder. Boom! His whole head comes right off. <laughs> Man, I'm getting pissed in a major fucking way. The toys start coming around and surrounding start them. surrounding them. And that's where we're going to end it. So if you want to see what happens to Judith and Mark and Judith's unborn child, keep watching. Why are we talking about this and why are we redoing it? Not only is it fun, it really goes back to our childhood too. Yeah. This is one of the movies we'd rent like all the time, like, <laughs> like almost on a weekly basis. We watch it so many times where it's embedded in the brain, right? We thought it would be a great first episode because yeah. it's so ingrained in us and it's also a forgotten movie that nobody ever talks about right deserves a lot more attention because it's actually a really good movie it's just hilarious it's a fucking blast we made a movie in grade 8 for a project in school <laughs> which was a horror movie and we basically lifted a bunch of characters from demonic toys yeah. chunky chicken christ we put them in a different situation which is more of a uh, like house party slasher situation. Ah! God damn! And basically ripped off the movie <laughs> uh, for the lines and the characters. Bah! Oh, god oh, damn, I hate them. Sons of bitches. But that's like how deep it gets ingrained exactly. into us because it's just so fun and memorable. Oh! The characters in this movie are what make it, I think. They're all so vivid. <laughs> Every single one of them. And not one of them is a throwaway character. They all have their part to play. Yeah, the acting actually for this movie is really good. Not quite camp, yeah. but serious at the same time. And they all do a really good job of making you kind of believe what's going on. As stupid and ludicrous <laughs> as it is, you know? Kind of like waxwork. Like the plot is so fucking convoluted and weird, but it works. This is actually a straight to video movie yeah with a fairly decent budget it seems like even the budget to make the fucking chicken mobile the practical effects are great like there's, there's stop motion in this mm -hmm. which is great like it doesn't look shitty or choppy it's fluid it's, it's simple too like all you need is some puppeteers it's way better yeah. it's real and yeah. it's believable the toys are characters too exactly. you have a lot of memorable toy characters like baby oopsie daisy the Jack in the Box. The Bear. The Bear. <laughs> arr, arr. <laughs> yeah, like they're all characters themselves. Yeah. And there's such characters that they transcend to the sequels. Demonic Toys 2, there's Doll Man versus, versus Demonic, Demonic toys. toys. There's Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. There's this endless. So if you want a really fun, schlocky movie, with tons of memorable characters and a very quotable movie. Oh, yeah. Um, please check out Demonic Toys if you haven't seen it. You can stream it right now for free on Tubi, if you like. Two versions, one hosted by Elvira, but, you know, she can fuck up. <laughs> so help us celebrate our 100th episode and keep drinking. <laughs>